the 2% online sales tax. And I think, I, I think that it's not an awful thing to do. Online businesses don't have the cost of bricks and mortar businesses. So something should be done to equalize a little bit. But I don't really believe that because I think there's so many other ways that things could be equalized a bit. I mean, a, a big problem for shopkeepers are and, and bricks and mortar businesses are the fact that they've got um, that they've they've got business rates, they've got rent, they've got all these types of things. But they've also got community services like the dustbin men and um, water supplies and all these facilities. But then again, even people that are online have storage. Some of them do work from their own shops. Um, some of them, um, they, they, they have sometimes just as many other expenses than a retail based or a bricks and mortar based. Like they've got a lot more delivery costs. They've got a lot more returns coming through the door because people buy online, things don't fit or it's not quite what they thought and they send it back. So I think I think apart from, from equalizing, I, I don't think it's fair that a two percent tax, which is twenty pounds per thousand pounds you take, should be should be put in place. I think this is another case where the government should take a more um, common sense view and try and be really fair and say, well, it's not it's not equalised between the bricks and mortar businesses and the uh, online businesses. It's a case of equalising between the big firms like Amazon and um, the the small firms like people that have just got everyday people that are now selling online and it's it's just the business model that they're they're following. The big firms have got so many unfair advantages and they've got so much more strength and power and then a lot of them even manage to wrangle around paying VAT. So this two percent tax it's, it's just not the right way to do them. Tax the big the big firms more, but I don't think the government often want to tackle the big people because of the other repercussions that come from it. Although maybe if places like Amazon weren't allowed to sell their own products and, and just sold other people's products, maybe that would equalise the playing field. Maybe they should become the market organisers rather than the market uh, stalls. And I, I think that, that, that might equalise the playing field a bit more as well.